There's also a focus on the braking systems of the trains and the fact that they've been able to, to resist pneumatic brakes using them in each of the cars, which could conceivably have well, that'll be uh, help, been helpful. The NTSB. But that, that kind of gets to some of the crux of, the, of what I think Brown was talking about in terms of the rails being able to sort of push back on it. Increase cost. Well, on the, on the upgrade, it is very difficult to relate these things to actual earnings. And the reason why it's difficult is because we don't know the insurance situation. We certainly don't know exactly what the long tail exposure is. But we do know this. These things tend to not hit the earnings hard enough to sell the stock. Right. Hence why you might want to buy it on the weakness. I'm not recommending that, but I, I have to like the rails yep. very much. Uh, Wolf's target is uh, 255, by the way. Here's the opening bell in the CNBC real-time exchange. At the big board, it's medical robotics maker Ascensus Surgical uh, to recognize a new era of performance-guided surgery. At the NASDAQ, it's Swedish industrial group Atlas Copco celebrating 150 years.